Hey, how's it going? Today we're continuing on with the Midway's Arcade Classics. I've got a title game, that's good enough. Origins, that's the one. <laughs> Uh, today I'm going to be, well, sort of doing 2 in 1 video, but I'll be doing both Defender and showing off a bit of Defender 2 as well. As far as I remember, they're more or less the same game. But, yeah, we'll see if find out. I lost difficulty on, I think. Uh, how many lives can I have? Nine. Just like a shot for a decent amount of the game, at least. <laughs> oh, that's it. Now well, this is just a typical, well I say typical, a nice little space shooting game. The objective is to take care of any of the UFOs that appear on screen. I think you only have to destroy the green ones, everything else that appears are ones that I just want to try and kill with. That's not a good start, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah. I think the only ones you have to take care of these green ones that are currently trying to abduct the people on the ground. Uh, there's two reasons you don't want them to do that. One is, well, three actually. One is because, well, people get abducted, and less people are you safe by the end of the wave, less points you get. Uh, if they do abduct someone from the ground, unfortunately that means they also get supercharged. The UFOs, that is, and they become a hell of a lot harder to defeat. And the third reason is if you lose all the people from a planet, the planet actually gets destroyed. Speaking of which, you can destroy them yourself. <laughs> you can just sweep the floor and destroy all the people if you really want to. Um, but yeah. It's been a while since I played this. There's also a few other things you can do, you... Oh god. <laughs> it's all good stuff. Oh, I can tell I've played this well. Um, yeah, there's a few other things you could do. I'm sure you saw on the control screen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can tell I haven't been awake for very long. Uh, you could also... You could use that. You have a warp button. Which I think you can use a handful of times. I don't think it's something you can use infinitely. Uh, you can also use a screen. Which obviously is useful for getting overwhelmed, but I only have two more to do. Also, I believe if you use hyperspace too much to walk around the map, it will just kill you off. So that's something else to be aware of. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite a fun little game. I quite enjoy this. Like I said, I haven't played it for a while. I haven't played quite a few of these for a while, to be honest. That's why I've got like 20,000 other things I've played. <laughs> <laughs> well, too many games I enjoy. I never know which one to pick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing terrible. But yeah, like I said, I don't think there's much difference between this one and the second one. So I will load up the second one in a minute just to show you that off. But before that, I'll just commit my genocide for a second. <laughs> oh no, dead again. Just want to show off what happens if all the people on the ground die. Which, by the way, it does flash a lot, so I just don't have a heads up. Have fun if you're watching this on full screen. <laughs> and there we have it. If the planet's destroyed, all the UFOs will turn into supercharged. And the game just gets a hell of a lot harder. Like I say, you can use hyperspace to get out of trouble if you want to. But I'm pretty sure if you use it too much, it will kill you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Abused it too much. Yeah, that's Defender 1. And I shall move on to Defender 2 right now. So like I said, I don't think there's much difference between them. From what I remember. Okay, you got the invisible button as well. Which I believe if you use too much does kill you as well. Okay, 20, bones life. Do 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 do. Okay. Like I said, I just want a decent amount of life so I can at least last a while. But yeah, same deal. There's UFOs everywhere, there's enemies everywhere. That little square there, that will walk you to a different part of the level. And yeah, it is just the same deal as the first one. Protect the people. 
By the way, when the UFOs pick them up, you can still shoot the UFOs to save the people, and I think you have to catch them. If they hit the floor while falling, they will die. Which, you know, is realistic. Really. Kind of pain in the ass, but realistic. Really. Oh god! <laughs> I don't think that's someone a civilian that's going to live somehow. Um, in terms of firing, there is it's semi-automatic, so the laser fires as quick as you press it. So if you've got Thunder Thumbs, you can absolutely machine gun this thing. I'm sure there's people out there that can fire a hell of a lot faster than me, but I like to think that's pretty decent. Ooh, anyway. In from my hands, the enemy projectiles are normally quite small. <laughs> and sometimes they're quite dark as well, which makes them even harder to spot. And maybe that's a bitch complaint. <laughs> hell do you think that? Oh, Be careful that volcano, those sparks can kill me, I believe. I don't really want to find out. <laughs> go away, go away, go away! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean by them getting supercharged. They become a hell of a lot more aggressive. Oh, hello. I believe a bit like Joust, if you take too long to level, that's when those like sort of square Pac-Man things start spawning in. You know, give the player a nudge so you hurry the hell up. <laughs> oh god! There we go. Bit like bloody pterodactyls in jail. <laughs> Speaking of which, after this I may show off Joust too. Which definitely brings a new spin to the game. We get to that when we get to it. Should probably be using my smart bolts a bit, because there are plenty of them. Yeah, yeah, with mechanical this game is you can turn invisible. Um it's just so the enemies don't notice you much by the looks of it. I think you can still die though, I have no idea where I am on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> now obviously there's limited use as well. Oh god, Jesus! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I won't be saving this planet. Then. <sighs> Sorry guys! <laughs> oh, this game punishes you. It punishes you bad. <laughs> There's plenty of spark bombs, they probably just nuke everything as they go. Ugh, oh, yeah. Oh, wait, like. These red things are so hard to see. There we go. I just need to turn the brightness up on the TV. <laughs> I don't know how many bombs I got left, but I'm just gonna milk it, so to speak. <laughs> okay, I'm starting right now there. I'm running out of lives already. I had 20 when I started. Oh, bloody hell. Well, I know the point of arcade games back in the day was meant to be, you know, there may be a fair challenge, so, you know, people spend the money a bit. But... Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, respect to anyone who could actually get a decent way through some of these, because well, I'm on like the fourth level and I'm gonna lose soon. Oh, it's ridiculous. What the hell was I meant to do about that? <laughs> I I'll give this game credit, it's a very colourful game. Yeah, it's nice to look at. <sighs> Libyan dogfight. Oh, okay. 
like some sort of boss stage, I take it. I've never gotten this far through this game field. Bloody hell. Oh, that is a lot of enemies on the scanner up there. Jesus. Unfortunately, Smart Bomb doesn't take care of projectiles. It'd be nice if it did. <laughs> These things are so aggressive. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, that was, that was just counting down to my first 10 line. Oh, sweet! <laughs> Happy dude. I've got a bit more time to play this than I thought. Oh, that was unfair. Spawned right on top of me. <laughs> Kamikaze pilot. Nice. Cool. Now we've done enough levels, we now have the planet restored. Well, I imagine it's a different planet. But... They shot the person. Sorry about that, buddy. I mean, as long as what at least one is still alive, the planet won't die. So it's a viable strategy to just hover above the one. <laughs> no, apparently I've used the warp too much. Okay, sorry, game. <laughs> Cheap, so very cheap. Oh, sorry. Hey, I got luck back. Not that it's going to really matter much, but. <laughs> oh, God. Planet surface unstable. Oh, God. That's a good note to know, uh, end this one on. Take me! <laughs> yeah, it's a very short showcase of Defender and Defender 2. <laughs> oh, well. That's it for that. And when I come back, we will be playing Joust number 2. And there's some rather, um... Interesting changes. We'll see that when we get there. Bye for now. <laughs> 